Hey guys, it's Andrea from A Doctor in the House. Uh, I just wanted to make a vlog today. I've been getting lots of requests for a video talking about kind of the path from high school to med school. And I know I've talked about this a little bit before, but I thought I would do more of a step-by-step -step guide per se of say you think you want to go to medical school, but you're young, you're 14, 15, you're in high school. Uh, so just kind of things to think about things to keep in the back of your mind and, and kind of steps along the way that you can take uh, to make sure that you get there. So before I start, I also want to say that I love all your comments. I try to read them all. Uh, if you ever have suggestions about specific videos that I should make, I would love to hear them. So please comment below and tell me what kind of videos you want me to make because I have no idea what to talk about. Uh, so yeah, definitely let me know. And then if you have any other questions about med school or just like life in general, um, please check out my blog. It's a doctorinthehouse.com with dashes between the words. And I have tons of stuff about med school, uh, workouts, healthy recipes, all kinds of random stuff. So definitely check it out. Okay, so let's start, um, say freshman year of college, or I mean of high school, I'm sorry. You think that you want to go to medical school. At least that's kind of when I first got the idea, maybe I wanted to be a doctor. Uh, I think it happens when you're good at school, you like science, maybe you had a little exposure to medicine, or maybe you haven't. I didn't have anybody in my family who was a doctor. I didn't really have any exposure to medicine, but I knew that I really liked science, and um, I knew that I wanted a career that would constantly kind of challenge me and be something where I was always learning and so medicine really interested me. So the best things you can do in high school is just learn to be good at school because you're gonna be in school for the next 12 years of your life, basically. So if you can cultivate really great study habits while you're in high school, uh, that's the time to do it. Try to take some challenging classes, but also remember that high school is for fun. Uh, you only get to be in high school once, hopefully. And so you still wanna be able to um, play sports and spend time with your family and your friends, things like that, um, but also make sure that you're the best student that you can possibly be. When you're later in high school, so junior and senior year, that's really time to start thinking about college. And lots of people ask me, can I go to a community college? Can I go to state college? Do I have to go to the best college to get into the best medical school? And uh, I think certainly for some really high med schools like Hopkins and Harvard, uh, you are more likely to get into those types of medical schools if you've gone to an Ivy League undergrad. But there are hundreds of medical schools, and at the end of the day, you're going to be an MD. And um, so what college you went to as an undergrad doesn't play into that as much. So I think there's lots of things to think about when choosing a college. One is definitely tuition. I know for me, I wanted to pick an in-state school because I had a scholarship for in-state schools. And so I didn't want to pay tons more money to go somewhere out of state uh, when I could get a great education staying in Indiana, which is where I went to college. I went to Butler. Um, so that was one thing to think about. And then think about, do you want to go to a big school? Do you want to go to a small school? Um, I went to a, a pretty small school, but some people really enjoy huge, big institutions. Um, so do college tours, check out all different kinds of schools, decide what you want, um, and, and kind of make a plan about going to college. In terms of community college, uh, there's nothing wrong with community college. It's just, I think it's going to make your path a little more difficult. Uh, you must have a four-year degree to get into med school. It actually didn't used to be that way. You used to be able to get in without a degree, which is crazy. Um, but you must have a four-year degree. And so if you go to a community college or a junior college that's not going to get you that four-year degree, then you might be wasting time because eventually you'll have to transfer to a regular four-year college. Um, but, but if you want to start at a community college and take classes or things like that, that's totally fine. Or if you can get a four-year degree at a community college, that doesn't preclude you from getting into medical school. You can certainly get into medical school uh, having gone to a community college. So junior and senior year of high school, start thinking about college. You must go, and it's really fun, so you definitely want to. Uh, okay, so then other things you can do in high school um, besides just learning how to be a good student, learn how to study, learn how to do well in classes, 
start volunteering. You can volunteer at a hospital. You can volunteer at a nursing home. They need volunteers so much. Um, or you can do something totally not health related. I worked with some historic preservation group and we like restored this really old building and it was amazing and uh, such a cool experience. So that was, I didn't do too much medical wise in high school. I shadowed a little bit just to make sure that I was really interested in medicine. But other than that, there's no you must shadow this many times, nothing like that. So just do whatever you feel like doing and, and you'll be good. Um, and then the last thing I can recommend is to take some hard classes junior and senior year. So when you go to college, you, if you're pre-med, you must take chemistry and biology. Those are classes that you can take in high school. And if you take the AP class, um, you'll be very prepared for chemistry and biology in college. So when I came to college, I had not taken AP Chem or AP Bio, and Gen Chem, general chemistry in college, was rough. It was really hard for me. I had to study so hard. And I had friends and classmates who just breezed through it because they thought they said, oh, I took this in high school. Like This is exactly the same as my high school AP Chemistry class. So if you can take those AP classes in high school, that's going to make college easier for you. I think it's a decision you have to make. If Everybody at your high school says AP Chem is the worst class ever, it's just torture, I hate it, don't take it, then, you know, you don't have to take it. But if people say, yeah, AP Chemistry is really hard in high school, but the teacher is great, and you learn a ton, and uh, it's a lot of work, but I love the teacher, well, then, then take it, push yourself, uh, and it's going to pay off when you're in college. So those kind of classes. Uh, you can also take calculus. If you take AP Calc in high school and you test out of it for college, then you don't have to take it. I didn't do that in high school, um, so I had to take calculus in college. So all those things you can do in high school to kind of set you up um, for success in college. So then get to college and uh, choose a major. I have a video that I made all about uh, what major I think is the best for being pre-med, but really the gist of it is that you can major in whatever you want. It doesn't have to be science. But you will have to take those science classes, Gen Chem, Biology, Physics, Organic. Uh, those are generally the set requirements for taking the MCAT. Uh, and then there will certainly be other classes that you have to take as well. So uh, once you're in college, then the next kind of steps, and I have some more videos about this as well, uh, the biggest things you can do are to get good grades, start studying for the MCAT, get a good MCAT score, do a little volunteering and leadership, and then start applying for medical school. Um, so I think that's kind of the path from high school to college um, to medical school. I can do way more in-depth videos if you have more in-depth questions. And I think the only other big questions I get from um, high school students or college students just starting out, just deciding they want to go to medical school, um, besides the can I go to a community college or can I go to a state college, yes. Uh, just make sure you get that four-year degree. And then the next question is people who um, have struggled in a class, maybe they um, had a really rough semester because they had a personal issue and they got a C or a D in a class or they had to retake a class or whatever. And so people ask, did I just ruin my chances of getting into medical school? Will I never be able to get into medical school because of that? And so my answer to that is no. Nobody's perfect. We're all human. And it's um, understandable for something in life to interfere with you getting perfect grades all the time. So say sophomore year of college, you had a family issue or you had a personal issue and you really struggled and you bombed physics. So you retake it. The best thing that you can do is that when you're applying to medical school, you just explain that. You, If you're honest and you say, this is what happened, I really struggled. And then if you are able to come out of that victorious, so you retake the class and you get an A. Um, or for the rest of college, you get all A's and maybe a couple B's, but you do really well. Then you show that that was just a hurdle in your life that you had to overcome. And by explaining, I had this tough time and this is how I overcame it, that shows that you're mature, that you're able to overcome difficult situations, which medical school is a difficult situation. Um, and I think it just shows that you're resilient and that you're going to keep trying and keep working hard, even if something kind of knocks you down. So don't worry if you've had some kind of issue. Uh, with a class. You can definitely still go to medical school. So I hope these things helped. I hope that you're planning to go to medical school. It's really fun. Uh, kind of. So uh, I'd love to hear your comments, questions, and suggestions for more videos. Talk to you later.